In our ports and in our airports, the UK border agency is fighting a constant battle against smugglers. I'm arresting you. Oh, get inside, man. Coming up, a grandmother loses her cool after a suspect package is found in her laptop. This is for Hillary. <laughs> Officers in Birmingham stub out a couple's plan to make a quick buck. Uh, you wear the cigarette restrictions from Grand Canaria. I can, I can tell by the face. <laughs> oh, dear me. And high traces of cocaine are found in Gatwick. The minute that you mentioned drugs, he was not happy at all. So we're not transport drugs. I push drugs. Gatwick Airport, a flight has just arrived from Antigua. Suitcases from the flight are unloaded and checked by sniffer dogs before passengers collect them in the terminal. One female passenger from the flight has raised suspicion. After passing through immigration, she was seen changing her clothes in the toilets. So UK border agency officer George has stopped her for questioning. She actually changed outfits from when I saw her down by immigration when she was getting her passport swiped. When talking to her in the channels, she actually said that it's because she had a long journey and she had some soggy clothes which she needed to change out of. It's a suspicious activity. Normally people would just wait. George carries out a routine search of the woman's bags. When she went upstairs, I noticed that she had a carry-on holder, which sometimes they can actually sneak drugs through their holders. The hold all and its contents are taken away to be x-rayed. Officers will be looking for any hidden concealment. George continues his search of the woman's suitcase. The hold all gets the all clear, but the woman's laptop looks decidedly suspicious. On the x-ray, it's sort of uneven. As it goes in, it shows that there may be something inside. Yeah. With concerns there may be drugs hidden in the laptop, it's taken away to a workshop to be properly assessed. OK, hey, what's happened? Yeah, we've got clear image, and it shows what It may seem brutal, but the only way to find out if it does contain anything illegal is to break it open. It looks like their hunch was right. Officers discover a package they suspect to be drugs stuffed inside the laptop. A simple test will be able to confirm their suspicion. At Birmingham Airport, it's the start of a busy evening shift. A flight has just come in from Gran Canaria, and Officer Mike is scanning suitcases for excessive quantities of cigarettes. We're x-raying the baggage through this belt scanner here, looking primarily for cigarettes or tobacco, but there is a the chance we may find defensive weapons such as flick knives or throwing stars and things like that. Passengers arriving back from Gran Canaria have a strict allowance of just 200 cigarettes. OK, that one's got some square shapes in that may, may indicate tobacco. We'll have another look at that one in a moment. Having found a large quantity of cigarettes on the X-ray, Mike will be keen to ask the owner of the suitcases a few questions. A man in shorts and a blue jumper collects one of the bags from the luggage carousel and as he proceeds through the Nothing to Declare channel, Mike steps in to intercept him. Hello there, guys. Just step over this way a second. Just come over to the bench for me. Can we look at your passports, please? Not travelling with anyone else? Sorry? Not travelling with anyone else, no. Just been a family holiday, is it? Yeah, how long have you been away? For days. Yeah. Where to? Grand OK. Whose name was it booked in? Who actually did the booking? I thought you said you weren't with anyone else. Um, three of us. I didn't even know that. Oh, right, so you've you, so you been travelling with these people, yeah? Yeah, when you right. said two adults. Well, no, and I'll just say, have you travelled with anyone else and you said no? Oh, yeah. It's not a problem, OK. 
Yeah, you know what, you can't bring in drugs, guns, knives, weapons, a decent thing to and stuff like that. Yeah, okay. Uh, you wear the cigarette restrictions from Grand Canaria. I can, I can tell by the face. <laughs> okay, not sure. We, okay, something you want to tell me? Yes. Cigarettes? Okay, how many have we got? You don't know. Do, do you know how many you're allowed to have? No. 200? One sleeve, one packet. Have we gone bust? 200 sleeves, I think, sorry. 200 sleeves. <laughs> OK, I guess we better have a look then, eh? The man confesses to being way over his allowance. Who are they for? Uh, fair enough, I appreciate your honesty, mate. First time you've been caught? First time you've been caught? First time you've done it? <laughs> Last time was what? First time or not, it's going to be an expensive lesson. Oh, dear me. With three suitcases stuffed to the brim, the man could feasibly be arrested. Back at Gatwick, officers are about to run tests on a package they suspect to be cocaine found in a woman's laptop. We've pulled a package out from behind the screen. All he's doing now is splitting it to take a small sample, which we can test on this cocaine reagent here, so which will give us an indication as to what type of drug it is. The reagent will turn blue if the substance is cocaine. It is there. With a positive identification for cocaine, the news is now broken to the woman. We've carried out the contamination of your laptop, and we have found a, a white substance hidden behind the screen. We've carried out a field test for cocaine, which has come up positive. So the time is 10.19. We're arresting you on suspicion of being involved in the importation of controlled drugs. Do not have to say anything. I'm not. You do not have to say anything, but it may harm your defence if you do not mention one question or something which you later rely on your Do you understand? As she's led off for further questioning, officers take this opportunity to use the cocaine as a training aid for sniffer dogs. Well, we try and um, educate the dogs on live reward, on live concealment, because we can't replicate that. You know, they've spent a lot of effort to sort of hide that concealment in that laptop. We just can't do that with our training samples. So now the dogs' are sort of learning curves just shot right up. With the game now well and truly up. The woman's attitude begins to change. This is for Hillary. <laughs> she may be laughing now, but all that awaits her is an empty cell. Officers stay with the woman while her belongings are checked in, and she's informed of her rights. Okay. I just need you to smile that top line for me, please. Meanwhile, George inspects the cocaine concealment further. There's a lot of work which has gone into this. This would be actually considered a deep concealment for a rudimentary way of trying to, I suppose, disguise it from an X-ray was by covering it in foil. But um, obviously, it hasn't worked. Right, if you want to take your food off and put them here. As the woman is checked into her cell, she starts to vent her frustration. And if you do need us, in here. Listen to me. Just listen to me. Let us know if you need anything else. Would you like to see the part of a blunt with the film, right? You want to see that part? That's it. <laughs> She's getting a bit upset now. When she was stopped, even when the whole her computer was being x-rayed, she was quite calm. But everyone's different. Everyone reacts in different ways, so... There, there is no way you can spot a drug smuggler, is it? They come in all shapes and sizes. One thing left to find out is the weight of the drugs. It's coming in at around about 530 grams. So, depending on its purity, it could actually be quite substantial. With an estimated value of 25,000 pounds, it's been a very successful day for the officers. Less so for the woman, who will have plenty of time to contemplate her actions. Back at Birmingham, officers are counting the massive haul of cigarettes a man has brought back from Gran Canaria. You did realise that, that there is a limit when you'd actually become an arrestable offence. OK, and you're going to be close. It depends on the value. 
The man's friend who booked the tickets is also carrying three suitcases full of cigarettes. It's now a question of what penalty they face. You have 36,000. It's a rather impressive 35,600 over the limit because obviously the baby's not entitled to any. <laughs> She's not yet 17. <laughs> With the man's friend also carrying a further 36,000, the total haul is just under the amount where they would have been arrested. That one is a warning letter. Now, obviously, as you know, you sailed very close to the wind this time, and there is no other sanction than seizure. OK, there's no fine, there's no penalty, there's nothing else. Uh, the warning letter is there to say, don't do it again. Don't do it again, because next time it may be more serious, OK? Yeah. It's a lucky escape for the two men whose audacious attempt at smuggling cheap cigarettes would have netted them a profit of over £2,000 each. Quite happy, did, did some checks on the, uh, the people involved in both parties and myself and my colleague were, were happy that they were first-time offenders from a customer's point of view. Um, the need is to say that, that will be, the records will be maintained on them and should they try and make another attempt, more punitive action may well be taken. Coming up, a woman in Gatwick struggles to explain a high drug hit coming from her suitcase. I've never even seen cocaine. I don't even know what it looks like. Yeah. Coming up, one man gets a bit economical with the truth in Birmingham. No, you've never been arrested. No. Right. Well, our records show differently, sir. At Gatwick Airport, a plane has just come in from Kingston in Jamaica, a known source area for illegal drugs. As the last of the passengers pass through the customs channels, officers stop a woman who's just arrived home in the UK. After a routine baggage search and an ion scan swap test of her suitcase, traces have been found for cocaine. Despite the woman's protest, a suitcase is taken away for further tests. I've done an iron scan on the bag. I mean, she's adamant she hasn't come anywhere near drugs. She's adamant there's nothing in there, but uh, I've got to find out why. I've got a reading for 2.55. What do you do for a living? Uh, I was uh, writing for a magazine out there. What does your partner do? He's a musician. Yeah, what, what is the situation? Well. I'm getting, still getting readings for cocaine. So you said you're travelling with your partner. I need to have a chat with him as well to see if we can see if we can find out why we are getting the readings. The woman starts to become agitated with the suggestion that she's been involved with cocaine. I'm not saying you've got it. All I'm saying is at the moment. There's no actual cocaine. Well, I haven't found any, so that's that's good but I still need to find out why I am getting these readings. It might be that your boyfriend will be able to throw some light on it. I don't know until I've spoken to him. But if he can't throw any light on it, what's happened? Well, at the moment, well, until I've spoken to him, I can't say what's going to happen. Whilst waiting for the woman's boyfriend to arrive from immigration, officers become intrigued by some prescription drugs in the woman's hand luggage. Oh, it's a strong medication. It certainly sounds it by that. With questions to be answered, the woman's Rastafarian boyfriend is hurried through immigration, but he too is less than happy at the suggestion he's been involved with cocaine. And it can happen from anything. You can have touched something that somebody else no, has no, touched. No, no, no. But you don't know that. You might have touched the... Oh. Listen to me. You might have touched the airlines. You can pick up traces of drugs from anywhere. You can pick them up from train seats. You can pick them up from airline seats. You can pick them up from being in nightclubs, pubs, no, bars, anywhere. No, but this is what I'm saying to you. This is you can pick traces of drugs up, OK? And that can then contaminate the contents of your suitcase. So what we need to do is we need to make sure that's all. I'm a regular artisan. Okay. With neither passenger offering an explanation, further searches will be conducted to get to the bottom of the cocaine traces. It's the middle of the day at Birmingham Airport. A flight is due to depart to Dubai, and officers are using sniffer dogs to detect passengers carrying any quantities of cash. Well, under the Proceeds of Crime Act 2002, anybody who's carrying more than a thousand pounds, we're entitled to ask them 
about the origins of the money and what they intend to do with it. Hello, so are you carrying cash on your body today? Yeah. Good boy. We're trying to intercept criminal money going out before it commits a crime, before they go out to buy drugs, before they go out to buy cigarettes. So we hit them in the pocket um, where it hurts. None of us like losing our money. <laughs> If passengers can't provide evidence where the cash has come from or what it's going to be used for, officers have the power to seize the money and investigate the individual further. A man waiting to board the flight to Dubai has been pulled over for questioning. He lives and works in the UK and claimed he was carrying just £1,000. On further questioning, he revealed he's actually carrying £4,000. Did you pack this bag? No pack. Who, who packed the bag? Just yeah, I packed it. You packed the bag. Yeah, I, 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 everything in here, including the money, belongs to you? Yes, it belongs okay. to you. Just going to give you a bag a quick check, sir, OK? Yeah, it's Do you have okay. any more money apart from the wallet? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Any more money? No, I guess You hold that money there, yeah, yeah. OK? Thanks. With the flight about to board, Officers will have just minutes to decide what to do with the man and his cash. Is this your coat? Yeah, this Any money in the coat? No. No, no money no, in the coat? No, no, it's not. I no money in the coat? Change. Some change. I think, I think it's under the pound something okay. down there. There may be some down there. Yeah. I know there is, because it's there, isn't it? Yeah, there's, I, th I think but it's... But you said there was no money there. No, money there. no yes, yes, I forgot, because yes, you forgot that, you that one is someone. You someone forgot you is, had money yeah, there. Someone is 50 pounds the same as his, his family. Oh, yes, it's no very way. important you tell us about all the yeah, money, sir. I, I said yeah. to you, can you tell me about How all the money? You then you remembered you had more money in this bag. Now you've remembered you have more money in the coat. No. Do you have any more cash no, on no, you no, anywhere? Just... Any more on your no, person? No, no, just this. Okay. Yeah, that's the right. In your wallet there, do you have your national insurance card? Yes, I have it. Yeah, can I see it, please? The man's dishonesty is ringing alarm bells. Yeah. Now, have you put your tax return in last year? Last year. Or this year? Last year, no. It's just it's a not. Yes, yes or no question. Did you put your tax? No, 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 last year. It's no. Been Have you ever been arrested by the police or customs? No, no never been, been in trouble. Good, sir. No, that's good, sir. After confessing to not having completed a tax return, officers will conduct background checks on the passenger for further information. As long as you've done everything right, everything will be fine. Can you take your money belt off just now, sir, and just show me all the money that's in the money belt you have? With the threat of losing his money, the passenger is starting to get upset with the interrogation. Reluctantly, he shows the contents of his money belt. And in here, you say you have three thousand pound. Yeah, three thousand pound. Right. Yeah. Now, the money here is not bank wrapped, sir. So yeah. is it this money you've taken from your shop? Yes, shop, yeah. No, it's bank. Take a seat down there, mate. You'll be right. As the last passengers board the flight, the suspected tax evader looks unlikely to be leaving the country with his cash. In Gatwick, the Rasta passenger is being decidedly candid. So, as a Rasta, then, do you yeah. use cannabis? Yeah, I use cannabis, yeah. but I don't have none neither. But I want to do find traces of cannabis, because I smoke cannabis. But no other drugs, I don't deal, I don't deal with crack and cocaine. That's fine. We, are, we all have a barnet, we have That's the money in the Royal Bank of Scotland, so we're not transfer drugs and push drugs. But you see, where you do your... Where you, you say that yeah. you're a reggae artist, yeah. OK? So where you do that, yeah. there could be people there who smoke drugs well, well, and smoke me, mama, man. cocaine. And, and I'm clean. Yeah, but like, do you so see what I'm saying? Yeah, I understand yeah? What you're saying. So you could have picked up traces of drugs from yeah, there. You wouldn't know that you'd done very, it. It's very hard for a label my lady like that, you know? Officer Hazel takes the man's suitcase to the X-ray, but her colleague Sam thinks she might have worked out what's causing the high traces of cocaine. We just have to check your partner, but what I think is happening is because of the drugs you're taking, it's reacting for the cocaine test. And that's probably all it is, is that? I haven't even seen cocaine. I don't even know what it looks like. Yeah, but that's what it is. I think that's what it is, it's because you've got really strong medication. And I think that's where it is because you're taking it. When you sweat, it goes into the into your yeah. pores, and then it goes onto your clothing. Then you're putting the clothing in your suitcase, and that's what's contaminating it. Hazel's search of the man's suitcase comes back clear as well. Okay, that's fine. You okay, princess? <laughs> yes. Yeah, I'm all crisp, man. Everything crisp. Despite the questioning, the couple are happy to accept that it's been a necessary interrogation by the officers. Yeah. Yeah, well, it's not Thank you for being understanding. Sorry for delaying you. Okay? Right, bye bye.
He was fine because I sprang him out the queue and he was absolutely fine. He was charming, chatty. And the minute that you mention drugs, cocaine specifically, he was not happy at all. He's a Rastafarian and to my understanding they use cannabis. They don't have much to do with cocaine, but he got quite cross up here. But then he called me princess, so I figured it wasn't too bad. <laughs> Nobody ever calls me princess. I think they felt better when I said I think it's the medication. Yeah. In Birmingham, officers have just minutes to decide what to do with the man carrying over £4,000 in cash. Having lied about the amount of money he was carrying, background checks have been conducted which have brought up more lies. Do you know what being arrested is? No, arrested. No. No. You've, you've never been arrested? No. Right. Well, our records show differently, sir. And our records also show you had good seized at this airport as well. You said you'd never been in trouble with customs? No. No? You, you don't remember that either? No. OK, just wait for that. The PNC's got um, checks coming back for bringing in cigarettes into the Birmingham airport. Um, 1,400, that was last year. Despite his previous offences, Today, the main concern is the £4,000 in cash, which may be illegal income. Having failed to pay any taxes for the previous two years, officers decide to seize the money as they suspect him of tax evasion. Listen, there is money. Listen, it's not money, listen. Not money. we haven't got time now to talk about the money, but you need to make a decision on whether you're going to travel or whether you're going to stay here to answer further questions in relation to the money and miss your flight. That's your decision. You're free to go, but the money's not free to go. You understand? No. You can miss your flight and stay to speak with us and you won't be flying today. Or you, no can flight today. Or, or you can go on the flight now, but your money will be staying here and will go before the magistrate in 48 hours. So you have to make a decision, sir. Do you want to fly or do you want to stay? Reluctantly, he hands over all of his cash. I don't want to handle the cash. His case will go to court and he'll have the chance to appeal the seizure when he returns to the UK. And that's the reasons why the money's been taken from you, OK? Thank you. With just seconds to spare, the man and his wife catch their flight, minus their cash. If he hadn't done the last check about what um, taxes he'd paid, what benefits he'd been claiming, he would have been on that flight with that money. Because we did the check, we found out he hadn't paid his taxes, which therefore is a uh, proceed of crime. So therefore his money's gone. The woman caught smuggling £25,000 worth of cocaine in her laptop was found guilty and sentenced to five and a half years in prison.